Hello, Azumi here, and I'm running Don Pingu Strikes, and I'm just going to call him Pingu from now on. So, first up, I'm running Terra. Um, you'll notice a theme with I'm trying to hit the back row with Earth Gear as much as possible. And we're running Lumiere. Nothing too special there. Um, fairy, uh, fairy Senia. Can't talk today. Same thing, a lot of Earth Gear. And Kaguya. It's just all the same thing. And Nayatasha. I ran out of Positron Rifles, so. Yep, I'm using five mages. So, here we go. So Mr. Don Pingu is in the magic row and is Therian and is considered to be grounded. Um, the action skill is 60% water magic attack damage three times and water wound for three turns to one enemy each with the lowest defense and magic defense. The water wound only applies to Aesir, Elves, and Yotun. His auto skill would be water magic attack damage and freeze for three turns to all enemies in the connect. Freeze again only applies to Aesir, Elves, and Yotan. So stay clear of using those if you want to be not have to deal with those effects. And the S1 also has Aqua Field, but it's not the high Aqua Field. So you might be able to get by with just using the low rings or just good enough gear not to worry about it. And the most effective element against this boss is Earth, followed up by Dark Damage. And the only reason I say Dark Damage, because his resistance is the same to Light, Dark, and Water, is because of the Light Crystals. So, talking about the Crystals, um, the Light Crystals do buff swipe for three turns to Don Pangu. And they hit the nearest enemy, which for me would be Terra, with powerful light magic attack damage. They also, on S1, have an absorption barrier to all allies for three turns against attack damage. So that's why I'm using five mages. It's just best to not use attack period in this fight for me. And then we have the water, which is the range row crystals in the back. They do water magic attack damage for to the three nearest enemies and they inflict exhaust and corrupt for three turns to all enemies and those two only apply to males. So uh, unless you want to deal with those you probably want to steer clear of using male characters in this fight. And on S1 the back crystals do water, ma uh, ooh, water magic attack damage and skill gauge 10% down to 3 enemies with the lowest HP. And I cannot talk today. So as far as that goes that's about um, all the info you need. Um, if you don't have any of these characters you could probably get away with using Merka, um, Nocturna. Uh, Granfelt isn't bad. Um, Rapunzel isn't a bad uh, healer for this. Um, the Bubble Blaster that I have, Sobel, is pretty good. I can make an all dwarf team. That would be funny. Um, of course, Summer Scion. Uh, what was her name? Lust. I'm not trying to pronounce that. Hmm. Pretty much any Earth character that's like Therian, human, so any of the Mikus will work. Mm, that, that's, I, I don't find it to be too hard. I've mage tanked fights before, so it's not too bad. As you can see now, I'm just kind of stalling for time until it ends. But yeah, I mean, just steer clear of using any kind of attack character. Use a bunch of earth magic attack characters. Mix in a little bit of dark weapons to get rid of the uh, light crystals in the front. And it should go down pretty easy. I have around a minute left most of the time. 
probably go through and change the order of some of my gear and make it a little bit faster, but you know, I just kind of threw that together in a few minutes. So we'll check out how much damage each character did here. And it's Kaguya, Senia, and Terra did the most. So that's it. Thank you for watching.